A beautiful piece of artwork is something that's mysterious or something that I don't quite understand 100%. Hi, my name is Wei and I am a Toronto-based painter. My paintings start with an atmosphere. I, I figure out what sort of feeling I want to create. My goal when it comes to creating is just to have someone look at my work and feel something. I want them to ask questions. I want them to look at it and feel uncertainty. I've always been drawn to the figure or portraits in art. I paint from photos, um, so when I'm gathering my resources and reference images, it's a lot of photography, it's a lot of finding, finding people to model for my work, and most of the, most of the time I, I'll use myself as a model because it is, it is convenient. I also put my images into Photoshop and just sort of cut things around. And painting in general, I prefer glazing techniques, just thin layers building up the layers on top of each other. I know, and I have this blurry image of what I want the final product to look like. I do a lot of repainting. I do a lot of painting over old paintings. Usually if you look at one of my paintings, it's like, one painting on top of another, on top of another. Some of the themes that I focus on, like uncertainty and mystery in particular, just never really, not, never really knowing which way something would go, but you know, keeping, keeping little parts like souvenirs in a painting, just little elements or little souvenirs that you sort of gather along the way while you're creating. And even when I do, it's not, I'm not ab abandoning it completely, I'm just reworking it. So when I'm, when I'm painting over canvases, when I'm painting over old paintings, that's sort of my way to um, restart a painting without abandoning the old painting, which is why I leave certain elements still visible. Every angle that you look at in my space, you will always see a plant. There's always going to be a plant in your field of vision. So, um, par partially because that symbolizes, you know, a, a reminder that things are constantly growing or evolving, but also because I just really like plants. The biggest risk I took in my painting was actually to not paint at all, just to take a break completely. And I think what that did was just um, it felt like hitting it felt like hitting a factory reset on my brain just not painting for months at a time and then coming back to it one interesting thing about uh, my avocados is that y you um, you let them grow you let the stem grow to a certain point and then you snip it um, I usually snip it around maybe six or seven inches um, and what this does is that it encourages further growth it'll give you a fuller plant instead of a plant that just grows super tall um, so that's, that's sort of how I see my own work as well. Like it's a lot of editing, it's a lot of cutting back, it's a lot of rewinding and looking back. Balancing, balancing work and painting and also just feeling like I didn't know what I wanted to paint. I didn't know what I wanted to create. I, I just knew I wanted to paint and I wanted to create, but I didn't, I didn't know how to push myself forward. So it was, it was definitely a, both a conscious and an unconscious choice. So. Coming back to it feels good. <laughs>